Welcome to the Utah TechCast. Hi, my name is Adam Rushforth, and today we're going to talk about some of the shortcuts you can use on a Braille display when it is paired to your iPhone. So I am using a Freedom Scientific Focus 14, and it's already been paired, so I'm going to turn on the Braille display first. Uh, there's a button on the left I'll hold down for a few seconds, and the Braille pops up. Now I'm going to unlock my phone. 9.21 a.m. 9.22 a.m. And it automatically pairs. And I don't have to do anything. So I'm on the Bard mobile app already, and it shows that on the Braille display as well. Now I'm going to set the phone down, and I'm going to navigate the phone using the Braille display. There's a lot of features that you can do, and most of them you're going to require what I'm going to call a cord, which means you do it with the space bar. So if I want to go to the top of the list, and if I'm in an app and it's a document or something, it'll go to the top of the document, I'm going to hold down all these keys at the same time, dots one, two, three, and the space bar. So I hold down the space bar first, tap all the other three. Bard Mobile and it went to the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing in reverse, going to the bottom, hold the space bar, and, hold, and then press four, five, and six at the same time. Messages, 99 on red messages. And the, that's my text messages. I could also go to the status bar if I do uh, S chord. Two of five bars, signal strength, status bar item. Now on this broad display, there is a rocker switch right to the right of the Braille display, and I could use that rocker switch to go, um, it's, it basically mimics the right and left flick. So I'm going to press down on it to flick right. Verizon Network, three of three Wi-Fi bars, 9.23 a.m., orientation locked, Bluetooth connected, 89% battery power. Okay, and then I could reverse it. Bluetooth orientation locked, 9.23, three of three Wi-Fi bars. Okay, and again, if I want to go back to the icons, I just do the chord with one, two, three, and it went right to the top. Now, there are lots of ways to activate an icon. So on this Bard Mobile app, I could use one of the rotors, um, keys, buttons right above it. I could, on this Braille display, it has above that rocker switch I talked about, there's a button, it does the same thing as a double tap. I could do, um, dots three six with the space bar and I use that the least but I'm gonna go ahead and do that for fun so dots three six chord Bard mobile bookshelf select category and and now I am here now I could also change the volume of this to make it softer I use a GH chord which is dots one two six or to make it louder I can do a dots um, an AR chord, dots three, four, and five. So I'm going to have it reading so we can hear me change the volume. So I'm going to do a, an R chord. Bookshelf, select category, heading, edit, button, audio books. And it's going softer. Now I'm going to make it louder with the AR chord. Braille books, zero items. Braille magazines, two items. And if I want to go back to the home screen, bookshelf, Bard mobile. I did an H chord. H for home. The other thing I'm going to show you because there are tons of shortcut keys, if you want to practice all sorts of keystrokes, you can do the K um, chord. Starting help. To stop help. Perform a four finger double tap or two finger scrub or press escape on the keyboard. Okay, and it now I'm in the help mode and I can do, um, I, if you want to do a screen curtain, Dots, it's basically the full cell, braille cell, one, two, three, four, five, six, chord. Dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, dot six, space bar, toggle screen curtain on and off. Okay. If I want to change the grade of braille, whether it's contracted or um, six dot or whatever I want it to be, I do a G chord. Dot one, dot two, dot four, dot five, space bar, cycle through the available braille output modes. Okay. And there are a myriad of options uh, as far as uh, Braille shortcuts. Dot one, dot five, space bar, activates the return key. Okay, so that's the E chord. And uh, one thing about this Braille display that I like um, specifically is that it is very small, portable, fits into a, a coat pocket or a shirt pocket. 
um, a bag very easily. And then it has lots of buttons that are very specific um, to uh, navigate this. So I'm going to press on the front where the, uh, you can't call them thumb keys, but the very left key on the front panel here. It will Escapes the current context. escape. Stop and help. The one on the very right is like a media play button. And if you're on a phone call, it will also like disconnect or answer it. But I'll press it and it will play music. And then I press again to pause. And uh, again, these rotor buttons right above the Braille um, display are very useful. It acts as a double tap to activate an item. So go ahead and have fun and experiment with all sorts of keystrokes to navigate your iPhone.